Hello creative friends, this is Joy coming to you with another art journal page and this is for the Creative Arts Collaboration March 2016 event. If you're interested in seeing the other uh, videos that other artists are posting for this event, you can search for hashtag CAC Fantasy Art on YouTube and you'll be able to pull up all the other videos that are being um, posted by other artists for this event and I decided to do this art journal page um, and put some paint down on the page and I just um, used some craft paint to uh, paint a background I did not just sew this page because I thought well I'm gonna put down acrylic paint as a background so there's no sense in just sewing it first and um, here I had some lilac lilac color that I wanted to put in the sky and then came in with some I believe that's a dark blue it looks kind of like a dark purple but I believe it's a dark blue and um, I used some white to bring that down further on the page um, this like I said this event is for um, uh, the subject is fantasy art and I've not really done a whole lot of fantasy art but I thought this would be fun to my hand at doing something in that genre so I looked through my stash and I found a couple of pictures that I thought would work on this page and would create kind of a neat fantasy art kind of scenery for this journal page and you'll see here in a minute um, what I uh, ended up deciding to do with this page and I wanted to do like a winter scene so I put like white paint on the bottom with some blue and then brought down some of the purple from the sky area just to have some you know purple reflecting in the snow because I tried to make it where it was snow on the ground and of course uh, blue is always seems like a nice shadow color for snow but I also wanted to like I said bring down some of the purple to kind of be reflecting in the snow um, the sky color as well so that's what I was doing here and I you know put some of the white up into the sky so I found this lady in one of my magazines and I thought she'd do really well on this page and I wanted to add butterfly wings so as you saw I laid her on the page where I would want her to go and then put down my stencil and positioned it so that I get it in the exact spot that I would want it to be in and here I'm just stenciling with the dark blue um, through this stencil for this one particular butterfly wing that um, I thought would be really pretty um, to be on this page. And um, you'll see here in a minute that um, I could have uh, left it like this, but I decided that I wanted to do more with it and kind of fill it in rather than just leave it like that. So I pulled out some apricot orange and decided to paint around the blue and trace around the outside edge of it with the apricot orange and try to clean up some of the edges on the blue stencil areas. And um, you'll see here in a minute, I, I tried to skip ahead and fast forward because I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch me tediously go through and paint all of this in. but. I did, you know, take my time to paint this all in so it would, you know, turn out um, nice. And um, my idea was, you know, to put wings on, on this, this woman that I found in a magazine. And she, in the picture, was holding a purse, but I didn't want to, you know, to be holding a purse in the picture that I created. So um, the handle, you know, I cut the purse off, but the handle is still kind of in her hand like she's grasping the handle. But I come up with another idea of what she could, she could be holding rather than a purse. So you'll see that here in a little bit. But um, here I um, carefully traced around the butterfly wing and like I said I just use craft paint for my art journal pages 
I'm not going to spend good money on expensive paint just to be painting my art journal. Um, you know, I do have uh, artist paints, more expensive artist paints, but um, I reserve those for when I'm painting on canvas, uh, not when I'm painting in the art journal. So at this point, I really like the wing, but I really wanted to do something more with it because it just seemed like it needed something more. And here I'm going through and darkening up the blue and, you know, cleaning that up a little bit. Um, it seemed like that stenciling the blue, it didn't turn out quite as dark and vibrant as I would have liked it to have been. So I just kind of went through and touched that up in areas where, you know, it wasn't dark enough for me. And I believe I kind of fast forward and skipped ahead on this as well so that you don't have to see me fuss through all of that. Uh, so like I said, I, yeah, I think this is towards the end. Um, I'm finishing up the, touching up the blue. So I decided, like I said, that I wanted to do something more with this wing. And originally, um, I can't remember, I think I um, was going to use some paint to do some more design work on this uh, wing, but I thought, well, you know what, it would make more sense to use my Posca paint pens because then I can get a, you know, pretty good um, line on and design on the wing without too much, you know, fussing with a, a paintbrush. So I guess I should have cut more of this, you know, touching up the blue. I thought I cut more of it out. Yeah, so here I was going to use a uh, lighter, darker orange to do some design on here, but I decided, no, I'm just going to use my Posca paint pens and just simplify it. So um, I decided to go and put some dots on this wing, but then I was really having a lot of fun putting dots on the wing and really liking the way that it looked that, you know, I just uh, kind of, I guess, got carried away and just kept going. And you'll see here in a minute, because I, I do skip ahead on this as well, um, that I ended up covering the whole wing with these dots, you know, and I didn't make all the dots the same size. You know, I kind of varied the size of the dot based on the area where I was putting it. And, um, of course, I traced around um, the whole wing as well with the paint pen. But um, I did the bottom part. Uh, with the dots and I thought oh that's really pretty and so then I traced around the wing but then like I said I really liked you know the look of it so much that I went back in and, and did dots on the other half of the wing the upper half and uh, so this particular like art journal page, like I said, I wasn't really sure what to do for fantasy art, but I found the woman, and like I said, I really liked her, and um, she looked like, you know, she was holding a purse, and she looked like that I could put her on a journal page and have it where she was holding something else, and so here I'm using collage podge to collage her down, and I made the mistake of not making sure that the paint pen was dry completely first. So here in a minute, when I put her down, um, you'll see I kind of smudged the orange paint pen a little bit, but um, I go back in and, and fix it. So I don't know why I didn't give it a quick, you know, blast with the um, heat gun just to make sure that it was completely dry. I mean, they dry fairly quickly, um, the paint pens do, 
but just those couple of you know spots that I did at the very top weren't completely dry and I swiped across them and smeared them. So um, like I said, I was um, thinking it'd be really you know neat to put this woman on here and I was thinking fantasy art and she's all, you know holding something in her hand. So I thought, well, she could be holding a leash to something, you know, like maybe she's, you know, got a pet or got something that, you know, on a leash. So I went through my stash again of animals and I found this wolf that I thought was really neat. And I was looking at, you know, elephants and ostriches and zebras and, you know, all these different animals. And um, I decided on, on this picture of this wolf. I thought this would work out really nice on this page. And um, I do like the way that it, it turned out. And I found um, a quote that, you know, I thought would go with this page as well. Um, it says, all my dreams are possible again. So I thought that was kind of neat. And like I said, I wanted to make this um, kind of like a snow, snow scene. So um, I do end up, you know, um, putting some, you know, flecks of, of white paint on here. Um, now the wolf where I had cut him out, he had, you know, was standing in some like sticks or whatever. So he had like some sticks on the, his back legs and his foot that were, you know, like overlapping, and I thought, well, that doesn't make sense unless I add, you know, some back into the picture, and here um, is where I paint the leash. I first do it um, in black, and then I go over it a little bit with the chocolate brown um, that I used for the sticks. just to give it some, you know, var variation and because I didn't want it like all brown or, you know, all black. So I um, did the black first and then went over with the brown in areas. And um, two, I wanted to, um, you know, do like some shadowing underneath them, which here I'm doing some shadowing, but also I wanted to, like I said, make it look uh, like they were standing in the snow. And so I went back in with some white, which you'll see here in a minute, to add some areas um, where it looked like you know snow um, that they're standing in snow and here's where I was trying to get the you know variation between the shadows and the snow and trying to get them that um, figured out I really like the way this uh, page turned out. Matter of fact, it was really a lot of fun. So, you know, I was thinking, you know, of trying to think of other things that I could do, you know, that are similar. And uh, I did um, end up doing another page that was slightly different, um, but it was a, a magazine image and of a woman and that I thought was really neat that I did on another page and and built up a scene around her. So that one um, I'll be posting. I need to get it edited and then post it in the next, uh, next week, I believe, is when I'll be getting that posted. So I'm trying to, like I said, um, trying to look like there's snow here. And, um, and then I get, you know, the white paint 
And here I'm putting up my barrier because uh, if I don't put something up, I end up with splatters of paint everywhere. And I don't want the pa paint splatters to be on her face or on the words, so I'm putting pieces of paper to cover those. And then um, I'm taking watered down paint. And at first I did it and it was like really, I didn't want the want it to be big splots like that. I want it to, to be more subtle splatters. So I wiped that off, grabbed a different brush because I think it was a brush I was using and then um, it ended up this other brush worked better. But I've seen where people use like a fan brush and I've got several in my um, in with my paint brushes that I use uh, for my, you know, canvas painting because the paint brushes that I use for my art journal are very cheap paint brushes. I mean, I didn't pay a whole lot of money for them, and that way, you know, if I ruin a brush, who cares? I can just toss it. But I do have brushes that um, are just for my painting on canvas, so I know I've got extra fan brushes in there. I can probably grab one out of there. So here I used the orange paint pen again um, that I used on the wing with for the spots and outline to outline my title. So that's pretty much the art journal page that I created. If you like my videos, I'd appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, or uh, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, art journal page, and we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.